In this video, we'll guide you through how to copy and paste in Minecraft Bedrock. If you guys find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Before we get any further, a big shout out to our sponsor, Apex Hosting. This is my go-to Minecraft server host. They've got so many awesome benefits like instant setup, 24 seven servers and support, so you can get help from experienced server administrators if you've got any problems, DDoS protection, and so many other awesome features. And at the moment, you can get 25% off your first invoice. So come and check them out. There'll be a link in the pinned comment and the description. One thing to know is you will need to have cheats enabled in this Minecraft world. Otherwise, this won't work because we're using a command. In this example here, I'm going to go and copy and paste this build here. It's pretty simple, but it'll be the same process. So what you need to do is firstly go and enable coordinates. To do that, you pause the game, go to settings and go to game and then scroll down here until you get to world options and toggle on show coordinates. Now you need to go to one of the coordinates of the build and go to the lowest point. So for example here, I've got a floor which I want to copy as well. So therefore I'm gonna go and just go one level below that, just like so. And now we need to note down the current position. So what you can do is take a picture of that or go and just note it down. I've gone and taken a picture. And the next thing you need, now need to do is go to the other corner of the build, the opposite, and go to the highest point. So what I'm going to do is go and fly up like so, and go to the opposite corner, and then go to the highest point. So make sure you include things uh, like the roof and anything else which you want to copy as well. So in this case, I've definitely got everything in here now, just make sure I'm right over the build. And now what we need to do is note down this position. So once again, write it down or take a picture or do it, do it on whatever way you want to go and do. And next, you need to choose where you want to go and paste it to. This is where I want to go and paste it. So then what we now need to do is go and note down this position here. So what we're gonna do is just take a picture of it or note it down just like the other two. And now what we can do is go and take advantage of a command and we can go and copy this. So what you need to do is open up your chat, however you do that, I'll press T, and then the command we're gonna use is slash clone like this. And then what we first need to do is enter the first set of coordinates that we noted down. So that was the lowest point of the thing you want to go and copy. So in this case here for me, it was minus 197, just like this, 92291. And next you need to enter the coordinates of the highest point on the opposite corner. So for me, that was minus 192, 101, 284. And finally, you now need to enter the coordinates of where you want to go and paste it to. So for me, that is minus 180, 88, 240, just like so. And I'll hit enter. And just like that, we've now gone and pasted it. If I go inside, that is that there. Of course, mine was pretty simple, but you can do this with more complex things as well. And yeah, it's super cool. And now let's say you want to make another copy of it. Well, it's actually even easier now because you've already entered the command. So all you now need to do is find the next place for where you want it. And once again, note down that position, take a picture of it, however you want to go and do it. And then what you need to do is open up the chat. So I'll press T again, press on the upwards arrow just like this, and that'll bring up the previous message you sent. Of course, the button may be different for you, but then all you need to do is change the last set of coordinates. And so now I can enter the coordinates I just noted down, just like this, and then we can go and make another copy. I've entered them, I'll press enter, and as you can see, we've now gone and cloned another copy. Not great positioning, but you guys get the rough idea. But you guys go and get the idea. It's super easy once you've sort of entered the command once to quickly just go and change that last set of coordinates and make even more copies of it. So I hope you found this guide useful and you can go and fully utilize the clone command now. If you want to go and see more useful Minecraft videos, then make sure you consider subscribing and liking the video. We really do appreciate it. And as I said earlier, if you need a Minecraft server, then go and check out Apex Hosting. They're brilliant. There'll be a link down in the description and the comment and a huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video. I hope you guys have an awesome day.